Greetings everyone and welcome back to Dr the Dreams of Poland mod in which we're playing as that kind of awkwardly bordered Habsburg Empire. Last time we were playing as Poland but we united with the Czechs, the Slovaks, the Austrians, the Hungarians and we did pretty darn well. We've got quite a bit of manpower, we've got quite a few factories, we're totally not OP and we I built a lot of borders along the border against Germany. Now they're only level one forts but that's just in case. But you know what, I'm thinking maybe we might need to, well that's, maybe that's, that's a few too many, uh, build a few uh, for, forts, my mind just stopped there, my head just stopped working, uh, uh, build a few forts along the border with the Soviets just because, well, you never know what the Soviets might be up to, and if, if we have to defend from two sides, this might be the best thing that we should do. Maybe, maybe. But we have a new focus to do, which last time I believe we completed probably secure reliable tungsten, maybe some civilian industry. But for right now, let's grab grab some more steel because we could really use it. The region of Galicia uh, is a source of much of our iron mining. We should fund the expansion and further development of the mines there to increase the amount of iron available for steel production. We're also currently embroiled in the J Chinese Japanese war, but we have a couple comments to go through as well, which include someone recommended that maybe, even though we chose the Austro. I guess at this point, Austro-Polish king. There should be an option, as someone recommended, for a Lithuanian king, even though that wouldn't be nearly as strong as any of these other options, but someone recommended that maybe someday there could be a Lithuanian king. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I'm obviously not the mod developer, and if the mod developers are still watching, thank you very much for making the mod. I really appreciate it, as well as other people. I think it's a very fun mod. <clears throat> maybe just slightly unbalanced with us getting five research slots and us annexing and basically coring all of the Austro-Hungarian territory, but hey, Totally cool in my book. Totally cool. Uh, regardless. So maybe that's a potential thought in the future. Let's see. A couple of other comments. So I should play again. I should play this mod a little bit more. I probably will in the future. Um, yeah. Totally. It's a lot of fun playing this mod. Oh, hello. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to actually divert you this way then. <clears throat> in the meantime, actually, go come over here. How about Qingdao? So... Yeah, that was that one, and yeah, play a little bit more. Play with the actual Polish king, or Polish, you know, queen, so. And also someone said, Germany's dead. Yeah, Germany probably won't be able to stand up to us, but we'll see what happens. You never know. Let's go ahead and make sure that the Japanese can't stay here. That wouldn't be good for anybody, except the Japanese. <clears throat> and we don't want to see them be very successful, do we? Probably not, probably not. <clears throat> Cool. Give a little bit of time. Get our guys a little more organization. Okay, good enough. Oh, and they landed over there, which I thought they would. But with eight divisions that are 20 combat width, not bad. And we've got plenty of air XP right now. Oh, hello. Concentrate Industry 3. Don't mind if we do. Resources extraction gain. Let's go and do that. Because we could still use a little bit more steel. A little bit more rubber. But that'd be probably pretty darn good. Now, at this point, I'm just kind of waiting for the... Japanese break through. Oh, they already broke through Beijing. Oh boy. That is not ideal. Hmm. Chromium, aluminum, oil. Let's grab some more civilian industry, which we already read this twice. So, it is what it is. And we're quickly building up a lot of forts, just in case. Go ahead and hop out. Take out those tanks if you can. Beautiful. Oh, they landed some more guys, and they all died. Oh, we're defending against them too. Great. Now come up here because the Chinese are probably going to be taking a lot of hits. So, And we shall see what happens. At this point, go and add another guy up here. Now, if you can see, I've made a defensive line right here. So it doesn't really matter where the soldiers are at as long as they fill out the entire line. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that again. Use you because you are right there. Nice. 27 divisions for that. We might keep them there, we might not, because we do have that border with the Soviets. So we'll see what happens. And probably by the end of this video, hopefully we can take out the Germans. We'll see what happens. I have no idea if we can, but I think it's a worthy goal to try. And we've got some tanks here. 20 combat width, of course. Ooh, light tanks, not bad. Motorized is not bad either. I'm considering just making these 40 combat width, because, I don't know, as of late, with my videos... I like using light tanks, because we already have light tanks research. I don't have to research any other tanks. And I like seeing how fast it can go. They get pierced pretty easily, but... I, I really enjoy using light tanks now. They're so usable, like in 41, 42, as long as you don't fight other tanks, so... A lot of fun. Lots of fun. Let's see, air power. 
We actually got the Jap... The, not the Japanese, but the Chinese air superiority. Can you believe it? Nice. Look at that. Just give me all that air XP. Oh, it's so good. You guys are actually attacking. This is a little nuts. Actually, could you take back Beijing? Probably not, so let's wait. Construction 3 is very nice. 39, of course. Better radar, because why not? At this point, we might as well start researching maybe... Actually, our air doctrine some more. But some naval stuff. That'd be pretty good. Go just kind of hold the line for now. That's all I really care about. We could attack, but now nah, we good. We good. I'm just waiting for them to attack us so we can tire out the Japanese. How's the war going, actually? So, 2 million versus not that many million? Okay, so be it. Whatever. Industry-wise, we're building, building, building all these forts. I love it. Actually, at the same time, keep building up at least one civilian factory. Just so we have a continually improved industry. That'd be bueno. Quite bueno. Keep training as well. We probably want to get a dockyard too, because we don't really have enough. There you go. Beautiful. After this, we'll probably go with civilian force. We can even build more, 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 more. And we got to do these plans here. Let's see. Down here for Poland. The new Polish general staff. Not bad. And military art. Ooh, get a six research line. Oh my goodness. Yeah, screw it. We're going to go down and try to get this as fast as possible then. I didn't realize we are going to get a sixth research slot. Or technically a third one. A third additional one to make six in total. And we're going down battle plan. Grand battle plan. So, the Rids question mark Migli plan. Extensive and highly detailed planning has decreed that the general follows. One of the key officers in the defense of Warsaza in the Polish-Soviet War, he showed his ability to hold a defensive line and effectively counterattack when the advantage was in his favor. His example is one that our army should emulate. Yes. Oh boy, Italy joined the Axis, which makes the war against the Axis a little bit more difficult, but... Oh, actually, yeah, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. If that's the case... Mm, actually, we can make some of these divisions. Train some more of these guys. Yeah, we're going to need some defensive divisions down there. Molotov, shnikes. That's not good. Set them on high. High. Now, we should get an event eventually saying that they want to go to war with us, so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Keep making more forts for now, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. At this point, since we do border the Italians, too, at least level 1 forts all, all along there. They'll be made so fast. So fast. Four days. Five days. Love it. The Germans shouldn't be able to push us in. Actually, and we saw last time we weren't guaranteed by anybody, but that's okay. Oh, good. Better engineers. That's going to be nice. Better field hospitals. Let's grab that just in case. Actually, no. Let's grab some... No, we can't get any better lightnings. Field hospitals it is then. Do our soldiers have engineers? They do. Oh, that's so good. Anti-air might be worth putting on now. Can we put on anti-air? No. Oh, man. That's a lot. Field hospitals? No, no, no. Oh, boy. Yeah, we need way more of this. Ooh, get some more lightnings, too. Do we really need that many more guns? Holy crud. Alright, keep doing some more of this stuff too. Boom. So we're at least making four, almost five different things at the same time. That's okay with me. Hmm. Mm hmm. So the goal is to push through here as fast as possible and then try to defend that line as much as possible as well. Yeah, it's still not looking good. Hmm. You know what? I could deploy these guys early. We just don't have enough factories. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to lower you to 15. I'm going to raise you up by 10. I'm going to lower you up by 5. we got to get more factories going. So, that does help with our supply, though, with resources. Our literal resources, which is good. But, oh man. Go down to 3. Uh, we need more guns. we got to deploy stuff now. You know what? Screw it. Just deploy them early. I'm actually going to pull you off, just in case, because you're going to be a new theater. Mm, Chinese volunteers, one. Oh, no. Wrong one. This one. Oh, another, another C. I'm going to actually put you against Italians. Because you have fewer divisions, and you should be able to hold out in the hills, in the mountains. There you go. And actually, you... Where are y'all? 
Where are those 11 I deployed? They're right here. Eh, Italians. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, give him that guy. This way we can hopefully deploy more soldiers more quickly this way. We need so many guns now. Holy crud. The plan is good. <clears throat> uh, sure, why not? A tool for every task. Ever since a show of effectiveness by the German Sturbab Teilungs in the Great War, many nations have developed a keen interest in the use of special forces, elite units that are extensively trained to execute specific missions. We should begin our own studies into their use and develop specialized units to complete any given task, which would be a good thing. Good, keep making more forts for now. Regardless of where we're at, just keep making more forts. Oof. I am considering getting rid of half of these guys for now. Like, half of their strength, or at least a little portion of their strength. And put them over here, actually. Uh, as well, weaken our line. But, at this point, I don't think we can really afford to not do it. Oh, crap. No, no, no. Why'd you do that? Why? Oh, crud. Why'd you do that? Seriously? Well, whatever. I screwed up the line. My bad. Now you guys gotta come over there. That's my fault, my bad. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Split you in half and actually give half you guys back there. You go. Two, three, four, five. Field Marshal. Oh, yeah, get that guy. He's gonna be good on defense. Grab the cavalry guy because we're running out of generals. Grab this guy, Herman Hoffman. And grab this guy to do that one. There you go. At least we've got some sort of defense against these guys. With a few forts. Not that many, though. And you guys, just good luck. <laughs> uh, everyone train? Maybe? Maybe not? Oh, and you uh, need a general. Right there. There you go. You guys should be good enough. Not too worried about y'all. And actually, you can switch around. Go right there. There you go. And for now, you guys can go right there. There you go. Alright, so we set up with a uh, fairly okay-ish line. Fairly okay-ish. Gdansk. Cool. Oh, are we getting attacked? No, the Chinese are still attacking. And they're actually doing relatively okay. Wow. Could you actually help out an attack here, maybe? Yeah? Yeah, they actually could. Go figure. Dismantle Czechoslovak forts? Yeah, that'd be kind of suicide, I'd say. We're not about that right now. Maybe in the future, but not right now. Hmm. Guns are precious. Turkey delivers an investment portfolio. Representatives from Turkey have visited our country and met with many of our politicians in the hopes of garnering endorsements for their investment scheme. The government of Turkey would like for us to use their resources to better their own industrial capabilities and output. Turkish officials have inferred that by assisting their nation. We might be able to ex expect aid of our own in the future in the form of military alliance between two nations. Um, sure. Why not? So, we lose consumer goods and construction speed. And they get some stuff. I, you know what? In the spirit of goodwill, we'll do that for now. It hurts our factories, but one, two, three, four, almost five-ish. That's not bad. Just in case, throw that up a little bit more. I don't really trust this line. Actually, we got level three fourths. That's not bad. Not bad. Keep building that stuff up and do that. Even more industry. We gotta get more, 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 more. You know what I do? I kinda, I kinda wish we were at war just a little bit, just because we could raise the conscription level, but whatever. Any upgrades? No, no. Not really. Not really. Cool. How are you guys doing? You're still attacking? Um, I don't remember telling you guys to attack, but whatever. Good luck, guys. You're gonna need it. Good luck. I mean, if that, as long as the Chinese got a good amount of air superiority, I can do pretty darn well. And I'm not going to force these guys to attack, that'd be kind of crazy. But, with enough support, they'll do okay. A tool for every task. 
and then movable object. Oh, look at that. Plus 7.5 defense, more land port construction speed. The best way to fight modern warfare is by using the same strategy General Red Smigli used in this Polish Soviet war, creating impenetrable defensive lines and fortifications can nullify the advantage of even the largest armies. If the Soviets or Germans ever attempt to invade us, they will find their armies breaking against the immovable object that is the Polish army. Oh boy. The Bulgarian government supports the IMRO. Cool. And we're still getting more weekly stability, so don't want to forget about that. Even better radar, nice. Not bad. Oh, it's October. Oh, August. It's August. It's August. Oh no. Oh, we get some better artillery now. Go ahead and stop training just in case. Yeah, just in case. And that way we will stop spending nearly as many guns. We need some more light tanks too. Hmm. Chinese, I kind of wish you guys would stop attacking so harshly. Because it's you acting, you going a little crazy here. Actually, you guys probably won't be able to win there. You can attack there if you want. If you want to, you can help support the attack here, too. Not bad. We are starting to run out of manpower, which is not ideal, but that's okay. Full of nice places, we're good for now. Hopefully we can get the movable object. Even more defense would be very bueno. Happy September, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Just in case, we should get a war, like a little event saying that the Soviets declare war on us, right? Oh, we are we are actually defeated. Wow. Cool. Keep it up, guys. You're doing a good job. There you go. They're not really attacking us. The Chinese are doing all the attacking. Literally, just throwing men at the bot at the Japanese. But whatever, as long as we make almost 100 guns a day, we'll be okay. Resource-wise, we're still not lacking anything. Good. Wow. Grand Battle Plan, we're still doing that. It's almost 40, but we can wait a little bit longer. We could get some medium tanks. Uh, we could. Do we have recon on our soldiers? We actually do. Let's get some better recon, then. Hmm, actually... Cavalry, artillery, I think artillery would be good. Hit them even harder, because we can. It cause even more casualties, I love it. Direct ground support, not bad. You can wait on this, maybe just a little bit longer. Oh, a little bit ahead of time. Get more defense and breakthrough. That'd be good. Nice. Now they're attacking us, ooh. Now that's exactly what we want to see. Okay, so the Germans aren't going to war with us yet, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing, actually. And we've got more defense. Let's go and grab military R&D. Expanding our R&D centers and building new ones will drastically increase our research capabilities. Casually going to get six... A total of six research slots. Not bad. Cool. And they're almost done. And... Now they're done. But we're not really done. Never done. Fortress Poland. This is still not going to be enough for us to take them out. But we've got to move through here quickly and then reinforce this side. Now, this side's not looking super strong either, but they're pretty weak. And over here, we still only have eight divisions. Hmm. Just in case. Keep doing that for now. We're working a great number on guns, actually. That's not bad. You guys are... Ooh. Ooh, actually, save a lot of guns by doing this. But we don't have nearly the artillery that we really need to do that. Alright, so we're looking good on guns almost now. Turkey dealer's investment portfolio... I guess we could do that again if we really wanted to. We don't really need to. So we'll see what happens. Ooh, now they're still attacking us. Good. Good. And we have air superiority for the most part. Ooh, we're actually losing maybe a little bit. Good hospital twos. Nice. Signal companies, we might use them. Maybe, maybe not. Grab some more extraction. Why not? Because we're going to need more steel in the future as well as tungsten. Pretty much everything. Oh yeah, they're attacking the crossing. Oh no, the Chinese are still attacking the crossing tire line. You guys are nuts. You try to help out. But they've got a lot of enemy divisions there. They didn't think it would be too successful, so. 1.1 political power a day. And then we'll probably, might as well, ooh, more defense. Yeah. And grand, grand Battle Plan Doctrine. The Polish General Staff has served its nation well, ensuring victories through thought impossible in a war against the Soviets, but we always need to look for new ways that we can improve it, and the pursuit of modernization of military is constant. With the Army's plan in motion, the final step to 
is align the general staff with how the army will now work. Not OP at all. Not at all. Research speed. Cool. Oh boy, here we go. And the Reich is finally doing something against us, even though this is on historical-ish. Yeah, they're doing their focus, probably. Danzig to war, Poland, so... Go ahead and stop training. You guys, go ahead and stop training as well. Because now I'm going to have to just auto-deploy them. Get to your positions. Actually, if I'm having you guys deploy, you should probably deploy down here. And you guys should probably deploy over here. There you go. There you go. These guys are kind of green, but that's okay. As long as we've got enough divisions on the border, that's what really matters. Oh, oh no, this. There we go. Hopefully we can hold. For the love of God, I hope we can hold. <clears throat> Get in there, dig, 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 dig a hole. Dig a fat hole. But, eh, maybe a t fat, tight hole. Get even more artillery. Ooh, for now, you might as well upgrade it. Need so many more guns. So many guns. Yeah, level f ah, level five fort's not bad. But considering that our guys are pretty green, they don't know a whole lot. Ooh, even more defense, that'll be great. Get some more soft attack too immediately. Can't risk it. Can't risk it. We should be able to hold against the Germans. We should be able to. Hopefully. Oh, they don't really like us. Huh. Cool. Actually, are these guys guaranteed? No. If I... If I justify on these guys... Will the Allies... There they go. That's what I wanted to see. Call in the French. So the Soviets have to end up fighting the Allies. Nice. And China will begin losing here once we pull out our soldiers. But then again, these soldiers are looking pretty good. Not gonna lie, looking pretty darn good. Can I make these guys 40 combat with? We have we should have enough XP now. And divisions. And we have a lot of anti-air. Boom, yeah, we do. Beautiful. It's gonna cost some more guns and artillery, but we we should be able to do that okay. And now they're not gonna be veterans because they've gotta throw in a lot more new guys. Which is okay. There you go. The new Polish general staff just in time to go to war. Oh my goodness. For Poland, yeah, let's get some more manpower. Bourbon nationalism has never been in short supply in Poland, resulting in us having one of the largest armies in Europe. Still, there are some who would prefer not to risk their lives in wars that the view is pointless. A brand new propaganda campaign has been unveiled that will hopefully foster zealous patriotism in even the most pacifist hearts. All must do their part for Poland. Good luck, Poland. We're going to need it. But even though this defensive line is not... Bad. It's not ideal in some places, but it's not bad. It's quite a massive line, though. Uh, I still like refineries and stuff, but... Go ahead and do that. Let's make this thing, and then... We probably don't, really don't need them right now. Sure, they need eight. There you go. Lower you to the bottom. Lower you up a little higher, because we need more factories. This tile is probably going to hit quite a bit. Actually, do you not have investments? There you go. There you go. Good luck. We're going to need it. Only out 21,000 guns. That's all. Yeah, if I just do one... Ooh, Grand Assault. Not bad. We have minus 4,000 artillery, which would not be very good. Infiltration. Ooh, Assault. Yeah, we're not really using tanks that much, so I think it'd be better to go with infiltration for now. More organization, more breakthrough, that's always good stuff to have. You guys, looking okay. Not great, definitely not great for some of these guys, holy cow. But that's okay. As long as we're in the mountains, and we got a couple, well, level 1 forts here. Mm. Even if it gets to the Germans, we have level 1 forts. These should be both. They're making level two. They'll be done by within a week, which is good. You guys, hopefully, still holding out, having a good time. A good time in China while fighting the Japanese. Not bad. Hey, but we're doing really well on guns. 155 guns a day. That is ideal. Support equipment's looking pretty nice too. 
Mm. We need to get military police. I keep forgetting to do that. We got two. Well, it's 1940. We'll get back to that in a little bit. We're getting that done. Go for nuclear stuff first. Just because I like research speed. For Poland, Danziger War, the German Reich has long publicized the goal of reclaiming the territories that they lost in the Great War. In particular, they looked to the tours of Danzig, which separates Ostprussen from the rest of their nation. Now they have demanded that Danzig be ceded to the Reich and in exchange for nothing but a promise to waive the claims on Poznan. With the threat of war looming, accepting the offer will de delay a possible conflict at the cost of freely granting the Germans more strength for whatever lies ahead. Ooh, no. It'll remain under us, but we're not going to click on that yet. So we got all this done. We could do the Polish Air Force, but would it be bad? Mm, civilian factories. Let's grab some more military factories, probably. Ooh, we can produce planes faster. I want more military factories. So, as much as we may dislike it, war is an ever-present threat to our nation. We must ensure that our military is fully equipped and prepared to face total war with our neighbors. Absolutely. We could invest in the Turks, but for now, I don't think that's really ideal. As I want to save as many days as we possibly can to get even more forts in Upper Austria. Just period. They might not even attack us because we have so many forts, but we'll see what happens. We got nine days left, which is fine. And this hopefully gets us closer to being able to deploy more soldiers. And get out of our deficit of guns. 161 a day, not bad. And actually, you guys should probably stop doing this. Repair. You guys stop that. And repair too. Boom, boom, boom. We should be able to smash through Ostpreußen pretty quickly, though, so. And they'll attack us. Hopefully no one else joins. Okay, they clear war on us, so we're on a... Hopefully no one, neither, neither Romania nor Yugoslavia attack us. Okay, then. Italy's joined. Makes sense. Can I see these guys? Okay. Go ahead, move in. You should be able to bust through these lines n with little difficulty. I'm going to have you guys force the attack. They're not attacking us down here either. Is that because we built so many land forts? Yes, not a great effect. I don't care about attacking out the allies in this campaign, so that'd be good. Alright, um, well they're not doing very much against us, which is good. Take these guys out. Now the Soviets will come in very soon, which means we gotta help those guys out too. Which I'm gonna redo this entire army here, so we can reinforce soldiers over there, so. Improved artillery. Very nice, very nice. This is 1940, so let's come over here. And military police. I did say I wanted it, so. Good. Oh, we actually lost a tile. Take Königsberg and Mamel. Oh, we actually encircled a division. Nice, good job, guys. We lost 15,000 versus 20,000. Still mobilizing some more men. Not bad. Anything else here? Why would we invest in Turkey now? Oh, you know what? Let's grab some more propaganda. Oh, and our soldiers are back. This guy's been doing very, very well. German pressure towards the Benelux. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Just in case. You guys can come down here, because I don't want to put him under another general. I want to keep him like that for now. Ooh, wait. <clears throat> okay. Why not? Oh, man, you deployed all the way up there, huh? Sure. <clears throat> well, it looks like it's not bad right now. This is a little troublesome, though. New Zealand, hello. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. If you guys can help out, that'd be great. Because the Soviets are going to come a knocking probably pretty darn soon. Military Industry 1, grab the second one. There's only two more military factories, but I'll still take it. Hmm. Oh, good, 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 good. Only three divisions, throw them over here. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Half you guys. Two, throw them over there. Three, throw them on the Italian border. There you go. You eight are already down there. So you six, you can help 
attack if we need to throw garrisons. But I don't think we need to do that. For now, um, we could try to attack the Germans with these guys. We could have a very good attempt. And we need more guns for the... Yeah, we need more guns. Well, not bad. Got off 100,000 Germans so far. Uh, wasn't... Weren't you... These guys already in the war against them? Pretty sure they were. Maybe to test these guys again. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Maybe what we'll do... Let's do this. And maybe what we'll do... Ooh, Carl Egelseer. Yes, I always like getting using him. No, don't do that. You want to have a defensive line. There you go. Sure, why not? Good, get up there. Get our guys down there. And I'm expecting a war with the Soviets soonish. No, they're looking a little busy themselves. Now, do they have a war goal against us? They can do it immediately. Yeah, oh, they do one against the Finns. Okay, okay. Wartime? It's always time to build up some more civilian factories. Always time. Get these guys situated first, that'd be fine. Ooh, a few more divisions. Don't mind if we do. Oh, they're actually pushing into France a little bit, huh? <clears throat> I kind of want to attack, but at the same time, that'd be kind of stupid. I think best to just take out Germany first. That'd probably be the best thing to do. Grab some cap first. Or advanced machine tools. To get cap. Cool. I know these guys are supposed to come down to this border, but we'll be fine down here. I think the main goal is just to reinforce the Soviet border. Probably. Are you guys up to the task? Yeah, might be. Good luck. Good luck. Boom, there you go. And actually... There you go. I'm going to see the other ones so we can still put some soldiers in there. That was a lot faster than I expected. And now the Allies are fighting the Soviets. Maybe not my best plan, but... Hey, the fall of Nanjing. Finns reject Soviet demands. And you guys can probably begin attacking here to see what we can do. Before I forget... Planes. We don't have that many planes. We should, might be able to win. What do we force the attack? Can they pierce us? Yes, they can. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate, but that's okay. And Finland joined the Allies. Oh, they didn't join us. What? Cool. Call on the Finns. That's fine. At this point, they must have just go towards me as well. So, come on, come on. Actually, can we get it to Breslau as well? That'd be good. That'd be actually very, very good. Come on, and yes, yes. Hey, we did it. Go and help them defend for now. Come on, Soviet boys. Come attack me. Now, obviously, we have no planes, but that's not good, but whatever. We built our armies up very nicely. We got plenty of, well, political power for now. Oh, yeah, let's raise this next. We get military industry too. The Pinay incident. What else? We still have stuff down we, here we could do as well. Colonial empire. More war support. Research speed. Conflict with minorities. Let's get rid of that. Let's get some more war support. Military youth groups and propaganda will instill a deep sense of pride in our people's hearts. The love for our military must also be on the level with our love of our people that have the king. Glorification of the military to the utmost will be will better prepare our people for any future war instilling with them with confidence that we can win any conflict we may find ourselves in. Morale on the home front is nearly as important as that of the front lines. Oh, and we'll do that as soon as the focus is done, of course. 
There we go. Cool, we actually won there. Now, probably it's a good idea to attack here, so let's try it, maybe? Send half you guys with them. There you go. Good luck. And I take you to help support the attack for now. There you go. Good luck. And force the attack. Good luck. <clears throat> Infinite good luck. <clears throat> oh, well, that's pretty good. Look, we made an encirclement. Oh boy, what did we lose? Did we lose anybody? I'll let you guys go through there. I'll let you guys do that. I'll let you guys do that too. Good luck. You're going to need it. You go right there. Um... Or just hold. Oh, what did we lose? Oh, we lost. Oh, we didn't, we didn't lose anything. We're just seeing some convoys, that's all. If we get over there too, that'd be great. Now they're out of supply, but the effects don't really take place until we actually kill them off. Which is fine. Help them out there. Sure, Finland, sure. Gleivitz, very good, very good. Uh, you guys could help out too, if you really wanted to. That'd be fine. Hey, look at that. We actually won somewhere. You guys are not winning, but that's okay for now. Ah, beautiful. Good. And, and it's over a river, but whatever. It's only April 1st, 1940. And... Don't let them move. Don't let them go anywhere. That's 10 divisions over here. And the Germans can't break through the line. Not bad, pretty good. Let's grab some of this, just because we can get some more hardness for our motorized. Up now a little bit more, maybe come over here and do that, perhaps. Still mobilizing? Yes, we are. Very bueno, very, very bueno. Takes a while to kill off these divisions, but then again, we're really like, trying to kill them off as fast as we possibly can. <sighs> Soviets, we're not fighting you, but would you like to fight? Would you like to fight? There we go, Glyvitz. Oh boy. Another ally convoy. Oh, y'all crazy. Y'all nuts. Another one? No. Cool. Help out here. They're taking a while. There you go. There you go. And... Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Come on. Did we get military police done yet? No, we did not. Oh, so quite a few days. Oh, my goodness. And they're gone. Yay! Now, what do we do with this? Hmm. What do we even attack to? Maybe here to there, maybe? Push them into there, perhaps? Glorification of the military is very bueno. Ooh, they've invaded down there, too. Yeah, that looks like they're kind of stuck. Everyone's kind of stuck here. I'm not sure how the Netherlands joined us immediately, but... And Belgium didn't, but whatever. Very good. 1.2, not bad. There we go. Much... Well, not much better, but... Quite a bit better. Let's go and do this one. For the king. The power of a king relies heavily on the nation nationalism of, of our people and the strength of our military. A strong military that fully supports its monarch ensures a long and peaceful rule for its nation. To that end, we must put as much funding as we can into propaganda and expanding our military. I actually get some more war support too. And population, which is good. And we just got more war support right now too. It's awesome. So what are we missing? We're missing a few tanks. We got plenty of support equipment. We got plenty of motorized. And plenty of anti-air. Now, I say plenty of anti-air, but we really don't have plenty of anti-air. Not really. We'd have minus 2,600. How about artillery? How's it looking? 2,700? Yeah, no. We would definitely not have nearly enough artillery. Kinda sucks. Hmm. Support equipment? How about engineers? Oh, we already have engineers. Good hospitals? Actually, we would have enough. Except we would have motorized. Go and do that. Put you at the very top for now, that'd be fine. I wonder, hmm. Could you actually win there? <clears throat> Could you guys actually help attack here, though, as well? There you go, try that. Oh, 
And it's normally going to force the attack. And maybe once we win up here, we can attack him down there. Hmm. Motorized is not looking good. Oh boy. Hey, we actually won there. Nice. Help support the attack. Help support the attack. Get him. Push him over the river. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. And not bad. And we're still building some infrastructure, which is nice. Hey, we actually pushed them out. Great job, guys. Kind of costly, but that's okay. Improve machine. Radar? No. Planes. There we go. This front's going to be pretty stagnant. I'm going to leave it up to the allies to do that. You guys, what are we going to do with you guys? We're going to tech up here. Something like that. Boom, boom. Take the port. Take them out like that. That'd be bueno. Actually, I'm going to throw you on the side because we can. I wish they would attack us a little bit more, but whatever. And you'll send you over there. There you go. I kind of doubt that these guys would attack us, so go ahead and train these guys. Because they're trying to beat up the fins for now. Which is good. Which is good. We've only lost 66,000 versus not that many. Oh boy, there goes Finland. Okay, so now they might try to attack us. Which means they might try to take out these guys too, which would extend our land border too. Hmm. After the king, not bad. The role of nobility. While we would not like to go back to the post-enlightenment era Europe was under before, it is clear that we, to us, to establish clear roles for the many members of our society. One such would be the Polish nobility. While a bit pretentious and ever so ready to take the power, any part of the can, they still yet may prove useful if we manage to correctly place them as pillars within our society. Cool. If you wouldn't mind going up that way, that'd be quite bueno. Bulgaria join the Axis. Well, that's definitely not bueno. Oh, they're actually attacking us, huh? Okay, cool. Good luck with that. Watch out, Bulgaria's been called into the war now. Keep going, guys. Go, 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 go. Hmm. Oh, they're still fighting over there, which is nice. How about the poor fins? And if you move quickly enough, you can get up there, too. Actually, just keep beating them up. When in doubt, just keep beating your enemies up. Yeah, okay. Now immediately attack. We don't have a lot of time to spare with this stuff, so. Still forcing the attack. Force, 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 force. Good. Infantry offensives, that'll be great for breakthrough. Let's grab some armored operations, which we are using a few tanks. Not that many, of course, but whatever. Keep taking more land if you can. If you can, just keep taking more land. Good. Oh, they found us. Are we getting attacked anywhere? No, the allies are actually on the offensive. Wow. If I can get to Stetten, that'd be awesome. I'm going to completely ignore this for now to keep them in place. Oh, we're still doing pretty okay. The cavalry's not looking great, though. Maybe make an encirclement around here, perhaps. Oh, you guys can push up then. There you go. Really using and abusing these guys as much as possible. Uh, just make it over there, then. There you go. Not bad, not bad. Help defend the line for now over here. And the Dutch are even pushing in. As well as the Belgians. Not bad. There you go. You got a division in there that'll help hold. You guys, attack that way. And send you. And then send you. Circle two divisions, not bad. Mm, 85, 86, 89, 90. Plenty of manpower. Oof. There you go. Don't drop your organization. Just kill them all. If you would be so kind to do so. And actually, polarization projects. Ooh. Real stability. 
Uh, go ahead and do that, why not? Actually, just do all this place, if we can. Not bad. Well, we could try a general attack. We're still out of guns, motorized. Actually, quite a bit of motorized. Hmm. Military police, finally. Not bad. Ooh, it is 40. We got that stuff done. Let's grab some more... Oh, we had that one done, too. Ah, eh, radar, why not? At this point, I should have really duplicated this before, but whatever. Gearsons. Replace that with military police. There you go. Actually, I save a few guns, right? Minus 9,000, not bad. You guys... I'm going to actually switch you back to mobile battalions, because you probably get pierced anyways. It doesn't really matter. At least make you guys 20 combat with, if I'm actually going to use you for now. Make you a little stronger. There you go. Then I want some... Eh, do that one. And field hospitals. And support it. that. And then that. This way you're actually somewhat usable. Do we have... Oh, two more cells. Don't mind if we do. Hopefully we can find something good in the water. Maybe a little sinky sinky. And we are subject... We are all the king subjects. Much of the conflicts with minorities in Poland stem from the fact that our people do not consider them true Poles, and as such, they are belittled, mocked, and harassed without respite, and no help forthcoming from local or government authorities. This is absolute nonsense, as a ruler has clearly stated. We are all loyal subjects of the king, no matter our ethnicity or religion. We are all going to be subjects, no matter what. At this point, I think we could probably try cutting this down a little bit more, save a little bit on our equipment. I'll do two more, why not? Advanced Machine Tools. Rubber, how's resources doing? We're still doing great on resources. Fuel extraction, good, good. <clears throat> Get some better casts. How many planes do we have in reserve? Not many. Yeah, we really don't have that many. Man, the allies are really pushing in here. We could probably capitulate the allies before this is all done. Yeah, a cavalry definitely needs some more time to heal up, we'll say. But oh well. Good luck, Roman Abraham. Colonization process. Might as well, right? There you go. Did pretty darn well there. Let's get our infantry to move back to where they need to go. And maybe we can make another encirclement. We've lost less than 100,000. They lost half a million. And the Bulgarians in the war as well, so. Because the Allies are pushing in pretty darn well, I would say. Not doing superiorly awesome, but... Not bad. But maybe we won't be able to capitulate the Germans before the end of this episode. And that's fine. Cool. You know what? I would like to make another encirclement. I'm actually going to push this way. Go figure. So we can defend against the river fortifications. Which would be a great thing. We need more motorized now. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Assassination of Trotsky. Goodbye, Trotsky. Radar could be pretty beneficial too. Build it in Gdansk and build it in there too. There you go. Snaking around, trying to find a good way to do that. The Soviets demand the East. Having reasserted their claims on the Eastern territories, the Soviet Union has now put us on pressure, or put pressure on us to see the land to them, suggesting this is the only way to avoid another possible invasion, impossible annexation, or partition. Ordinarily, giving in to such threats could easily would be out of the question, but the Soviet Union is far from our only concern. If we agree to their demands, we may have less to worry about on the Eastern Front, although it would also position the Eastern Front significantly further to the West. Nah, we good, but we're not going to do that one yet. Well, the Royal Armed Forces free more recruitable population. Land auction? Eh, I could probably do the land auction. The Polish Land Force from now on will be known as the Royal Army, with the King acting as a ceremonial commander in chief, and other members of the Royal Family also being given some ceremonial roles. Such royal attention will be will bring great prestige and funding to the Royal Army, ultimately improving its effectiveness. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and do this, because we need to. Oh, and do this one. We got 12 days, that's fine. Don't really care. Hopefully our guys are good enough and we have enough forts on the line, which we should do. And we've spent a lot of time 
training a lot of our soldiers. Obviously, not all of them are going to be super strong, but that's fine. Oh, America, yeah. Why not? If Americans want to send us guns, who am I to say no to? Actually, if you guys could do that. Get down there. That'd be great. Keep an eye on this. Italian-Bulgarian military technology exchange. Well, whatever. Just keep making us more stability. Good. Get down to Kustrin. Five days. Four days. Oh, boy. Oh, we might not be able to get down there. That's a pretty good defensive spot. And we say no. Now without a fight. Oh, did we actually lose a sub? We did. Oh, boy. Maybe you guys just move in there, too. And you two... The three. Up out. Hmm. How many doctors do we have? We should probably repair a little bit more. There you go. Now they'll probably go to war with us. Which is fine. Nice. We're now a little harder. I'm going to air. Why not? Hmm. We could get more population. We're kind of doing okay now. Output could be really good. Hmm. Research speed. Sub detection, reinforce rate, radar construction. <clears throat> Let's go do something we normally don't do. Let's go with Townsend Engineer for more output. If we've got a guy like that, we might as well use him, right? Keep going, guys. Keep going. Come on, Soviets. Attack me. But don't win. <laughs> Please attack, but don't win. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of convoys because we're treating with the Americans. Yeah, we lost all of them convoys. No, boy, no. Oh, God. Come on, guys. Seriously? Fine. Fine, we'll just kill you this way, then. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, and they declare war on us, which... I must have built a lot of land forts up here. Hopefully they don't go to war with these guys, because that would be very bad for us. But it doesn't look like they're going to go to war with them anytime soon, which is good. So, I guess I'm not too worried about that for now. You guys begin doing this as well. You might as well push them over the river. Force the attack. The Royal Army. Oh, uh, sure, why not? Air Force, traditional social roles. That's a lot of political power. Land for construction speed. Should have looked at that before. Uh, I don't want to go to war with anyone down there. Let's grab some more civilian factories. Because we can. Come on. Good. Hey! Actually, oh, that's an encirclement. Oh. I didn't realize it would be an encirclement. They're not... Oh, actually, never mind. I should probably look, pay attention over here a little bit more. They are actually attacking us. Hey, do you have any upgrades? No? Combined? Uh, probably go combined. We might use motorized later on. You guys should do okay, though. Should is a good word. 40. Air doctrine? Yeah. It's air doctrine time. Cool. Oh boy, look at that. They're really attacking us now. Well, I think I will end the episode here just because we've done really well. This video's gone long enough. But now we're literally fighting a two front war. But I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Holy crap. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we'll capitulate the Axis, hopefully. And maybe really push into the Soviet Union quite a bit more. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.